Warning, the following is a fictional film depicting and recounting fictional events, myths, and stories. Furthermore, any weapons seen in the following film were merely props, the same ones used on Hollywood film sets. In addition, anything resembling illegal activity was merely role play for entertainment and theatrical purposes only. Please, do not attempt to recreate or reenact anything seen or heard in the following film. These were highly trained professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. Job bless. I'm Eastside 29. That's not nice. Nine black s. Why would you mad? That's for s are popping. That's why I would make my sales from I get off the bus, nigga. I'm young. I, I ain't got no car. Come to the laundry, man. Nigga, you got crackheads, nigga. All types of s. This is poverty right here. This is real life poverty. <laughs> like. Every night. Every night. Every night. Shout out my nigga Bowie, nigga. Shout out all my bloods, nigga. Damn, I'll be nigga. So this one's the main part of the as far as Eastside. Yeah, right? this is the, like, for me, I say this is main east side. Like, if you say you swan, you, you from these apartments. Right. I hate these fucking apartments, man. That's why we locked in this bitch. Like, you real life trap now. When niggas just, like, niggas just don't want you to ever have shit, bro. You could be in one section, literally go a couple of the streets down, and you already in somewhere else. Shooting is one nigga, gunshots going off, one nigga, you feel me? Every night, it was but nothing. Every 2018, the block got turned up. Nigga, niggas started killing each other, nigga, like. Everybody that's from the nine don't even have no big homies, nigga, like, we all looked up to each other, nigga, we grew up from like kids, kids nigga, you feel me? He's sorry, nigga, stop playing with me, nigga. Activate it. Slide that bitch. Slide that bitch. Hey baby, say baby, what in the f*** is in Tucson, aka the Dirty T, aka the Tuck Town, you ask? Well, aside from being a premier college city with copious amounts of college festivities and being less than an hour away from the Mexican border, which I'll let you use your own imagination to decide what that might mean, it is also, believe it or not, according to iHeartRadio, the most dangerous city in AZ. And if you know me, Big Camera Lord, aka Big Cactus Jack, the operator of the dopest recording studio in Phoenix, aka the Valley Clubhouse, then you know my belief that most of the time the best art comes from some of the most f***ed up and or the most crazy places. So when the young homies Malcolm X, aka X5, and Janky Baby 9 both hit me almost simultaneously and told me they wanted to show us around the eastern side of Tucson, as well as show us some of the music they'd been working on, I said, hey, f*** it, I'm big hit the road jack anyways. So we hopped in the car and set sail to peep what the next gen of Tucson up and comers had going on and what the east side in particular was cultivating and shaping as far as culture goes. So here goes East Tucson's 29th street section, AKA the Deuce Nine. I'm east side 29, I'm, one, I'm 1229. I got niggas from the south side, I did my work in the south, like, but I'm real life east side 29. Like, I've been out here since, I don't know, like, legit, since, since I moved out here, since I moved to Arizona, like, two songs, like, is it, this is, this is like one of those statements, like, when I'm, like, in the villages and, like, you know, talking to people from Tucson and stuff, and, like, you know, like, what are some of the sections I should visit there? This one always comes up. Yeah, you should. Two nine. Two nine, two nine, two nine. Yeah, okay. it's cause the east side, like, it, once you hit the, the 22nd ish, and straight to the 30s, that's when, like, starts popping off, like, gangs and shit. Like, I hate when people be like, oh, Arizona ain't got no gangs. I'm like, really come out here, you gonna learn something. Like, it, it's just not sweet. It's not at all. No, it's not. So definitely, too, you guys are getting closer to Mexico. I know you guys got There's money behind it. Right. There's no joke. Me personally, like, I don't got no big homies from here. I really like, don't. Me personally, kids raise kids, and then like, kids, like, like that's why niggas are so ignorant nowadays. Like, niggas don't give a niggas will crash out, like, just like that. Like, niggas want a gun at the age of 16 just because it's legal. Like, you can have that shit out here. Get that kid, like, you need to get to know him. That's why I say free little E, nigga. I need it. Downtown. Okay. Yeah. West side downtown. North side's 
like I said, once you what is that Glen? I think it's Glen, right? Like right here. I said I said that's the north side. Once you pass Glen, there's like Doolin, Doolin's still east, but it's moving on to the north, like Central area. Reed Park for me is Central. Niggas might not say it's Central. Reed Park Central because the east side is really big. Like half a half a two on the east side. Type. Like, like, yeah, the west side, the west side is like hella mountains, hella cactuses. They got it, but it's it's different over there. Like, it's real, like, like it's more rural. Though. Yeah, it's like they still got to build over there. Bro. Hey, I'm off a of swan. Like, I went to Recon. I went to Recon High School, and I went to um, Alice Vale Middle School. It's all right here. Like after school, like we just walk. This is the party. Like niggas wanna fight, niggas wanna link up. Oh, we gonna we gonna meet we, we gonna meet at Freedom. Cause like that's just. This is the part, like, it's hard to explain, yeah, like, I don't, I don't, like, I don't even know. Yeah, like, if you grew up on 29, you gonna come here, like, as a child, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't. Young. Can't Everybody young. popping out of here just doing stupid yeah. shit, with your friends. This is that part. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty, pretty strict over here, cruising around. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. All, all, all up and down 29, man. All up and down 29. Every day, all day. I was, I, I wanted to leave, really. I was like, I'm trying to get set up with It's like, nah, I say Swan Blood, because that's 1800 block right there. Swan and 29th is 1800. That's where I grew up. I didn't go up more like over there and shit. That was. I went to the church though. There's a church just called like Eastside something. I went to there when I was like six, seven grade. Hey, where y'all at? Hey, Try out for the thought you in there. I thought nice. Nine o'clock. Feel me? Feel me? Damn, I think we got What are these apartments called? This is back, in, back then, they was called back then they was called the Apple Apartments. My aunt used to stay all the way in the back. And all you hear is niggas bitching, complaining and shit. Like, hella niggas arguing always. But I know for a fact, nigga, the laundry mat, that's where shit started popping. The laundry mat? Like, every day, every day after school, niggas would be at the laundry mat. Oh, uh, hey, nigga, hey, that's what I'm saying. Laundry man, nigga, niggas be shooting dice and niggas do stupid shit, like trying to sell. That's why I would make my sales from I get off the bus, nigga, I'm young, I, I ain't got no car. Nigga, so I get off the bus, nigga, come to the laundry man, nigga, you got crackheads, nigga, all types of shit, nigga. Hey, they just come get they shit. I even pull up, man, I'm not playing with no One way in, one way out. This is poverty right here. This is real life poverty. <laughs> like, poverty. yeah, I don't, this is section eight, nigga, for real. Trenches. It's nice though, nigga. They repainted it and made it look nice, nigga. Shit ain't changed. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this is shit, one bedroom, nigga. Every, <laughs> every, every, every apartment. What is it? All down to the ninth, baby. Okay. Yeah, honey. Torn down. But it's really just section eight. Yeah, these. What about be, over there, past that? There used to be that swan right there. That street right there. Where you see like the little cars. I think it's like a little mental facility right there. They tore that bitch down. How often were the cops over there? Every night. Every night. Every night. Yeah, like the mental mileage church. Niggas are stupid out here. Niggas crash out. Free, uh, what he told me, nigga, that's Eddie's son. Nigga. I met that nigga in the bounty. He was like, he was like, oh shit, you called 2 9? I'm like, yeah, he was like, oh, shot from one, two. And I was like, right there, there, I was like, wait, what's your name? And he was like, oh, I'm Eddie's son. And I was like, yeah, right there, now I knew him. I was like, who gave you your put on? He was like, he was like, hey, shout out my nigga Bowie, nigga. Shout out all my bloods, nigga. Damn, how many, nigga? As simple as that. So, so this one of the main like, complexes as far as the east side? Yeah, this is the, like, for me, I say this is main east side. This like, is, if you say you swan, nigga, you, you from these apartments. That's where everything is. Oh, hey. I'll show y'all where niggas used to scrap and shit. Show you a little. Put on section. Oh, hey. I hate these fing apartments, man. That's why we locked in this. Like, you real life trap now. 
Yeah, you gotta go all the way around to get out. Like, y'all don't mind jumping the gate. <laughs> we was just talking about that earlier. I was like, bro, these apartments locked in. They're like, they're he's not gonna jump no gate. Wait, niggas is like, niggas just don't want you to ever have shit, bro. So, yeah, you be more successful. Oh God, nigga, this shit it's gonna spark a fuse. Like, so like. Hopefully, hopefully it's in a positive way, you know. Oh God, yeah. Hey, I love y'all. Hey, I love all my ops. Hey, you niggas, my best friends. Hey, I swear to God, I'm a positive nigga. I like to let my music out. Let like, the it's none of that. Like, cause other niggas, they just like, start problems. I don't start problems. That's how it starts. So, like, seriously, they ignorant. Like, they ignorant. Like, I mean, yeah, we ignorant, but we not that dumb. Like, like I got crash out, so I'm not gonna cap. I got ignorant niggas too. Like, yeah, the, my favorite part about the like we don't got shit on the east because none of our buildings and shit, nigga. All, like downtown too is on the west side. Yeah, this is a five one five one building. You can't even see it right now. That ain't shit, but well, and, yeah, you, you gonna see when we on the park because that's the only shit we really got. It's the five one five one building. As far as when it became like the Deuce Nine or. Oh, like Deuce that, Block, you know, Deuce like, Block, I want to say like... What was that officially official? I want to say like, because I know OTF, it's like there's like generations of the nine too, like okay. kids raise kids type shit. Right. Like, I used to watch OTF and shit, like on Snapchat, but like, oh yeah, they smooth and shit. So like, OTF was the click before you guys? Yeah, like it. like they, they, they do nine though, they, they do nine for sure, right. but they got their own thing going and shit, like A&B and all that. Shit, shout out my nigga A&B too. Sonic too. I know that nigga trying to, and I know that nigga trying to pave the way with music too. Nigga, free my nigga Sonny. Hella, I got hella homies, hella homies locked up, bro. A lot of dumb shit. I just, hey, I just got out in what August. Ever since then, I've been working with that other bullshit, straight bullshit, straight bullshit. I got more OGs from the downside than I got over here. Really? It's like one side is kind of just like all this shit. Like yeah, like like. There's 30, like, like, I know 30 got the OGs and shit. They really do. Dudes don't got OGs too. It's just like, I don't fuck with Like, it's generations behind it. Like, you got niggas doing stupid shit. The other generation telling too. Like, my nigga saw it though. I know that. Like, yeah, that's where it started. You go to high school on the east side too, bro? I did my high school online in jail. Oh, okay. <laughs> online in jail. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you. What's it like in general coming up in Tucson and shit? I mean, I guess where you come from. It's kind of hard. I mean, it depends where you come from, like I said, for one. There's good, good parts of Tucson. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how it kind of feels. It kind of feels like you can be yeah. in one section. You can be in one section, literally go a couple of streets down, and you already in somewhere else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Play yeah. Field. And then, or you're just like in a nice section. Like, you know what I'm saying? Luxury car lots or something. Yeah, that's yeah. Tucson is smaller. It's like it's different. It's different. Yeah. I guess that's why you would say a lot of uh, crime, crime rate goes up. It's like a smaller and different area. Everybody's compact. Yeah, everybody know everybody. There. Yeah, like everybody. it's not that that's, hard to find somebody. You're not lying. You run into somebody you ain't expected to see. You know what I'm saying, man. You'll just see them. It's weird. Yeah. It's, it'll be out of the blue too. You know. It's weird, yeah. All you gotta do is be friendly. So quick, just cause you f one time, nigga, they go, nigga, they give it to whoever they want, nigga, just cause you ain't in the back no more. Really? They want you dead, like, dead like, ass, yeah. like, petty as f petty, big ass, petty as f, that's what they you right there. They go around and do the same shit to you. Always the same shit. Always the same shit. Yeah, but f that. That's, that's like, that's like everybody know everybody do why. Same thing with females. Everyone fuck everybody, everyone f with every girl, huh? Bro. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. That's how I know yeah. so many homies. Like, oh, she you crack her show like you? Oh, she the homie. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, I mean. That's crazy. That's crazy.
Yeah, let's do it. Denying beef with denying, basically. <laughs> like, like, it is, it's that bad. Certain niggas, certain niggas, certain niggas don't f with certain niggas. Like, it's like that. It's kind of weird, though, because at one point, I know a couple of niggas that grew up together. Yeah, you grow with niggas. To this day. Really? And they grew up on anything together. It's like, be over some little shit. Oh, man. We got Janky. Outside with it. I think she gone. She gone on the way though. She got like three hundred too. Yeah, Thank you, baby nine. Yeah, hell uh, yeah. You came up over here too, right? Yeah. The east side of Tucson. Yeah. You ever stayed in them apartments, apples? Nah, I didn't. Nigga, I stayed on. I stayed at the Craig Croft. I stayed at Columbus Terrace. More like towards the Boys and the Girls Club. Yeah, huh? nigga, yeah. That's where, that's where I grew up. Was on 29th and Columbus. You feel me? That's where I was trying to invite you. 29th like, and Columbus. That's yeah, more like that down part. that way. Yeah, you feel me? That's where I pulled up. Yeah, yeah. That, that's like where I grew up. That's the east side too. Yeah, that's, Same that's yeah, yeah, yeah. the whole street. All, this, the whole all, street. all right here. Every everything you looking right here is east side. Everything. Once you, once you hit Glen, nigga, that's north. And it's suck so, because nigga. Like, if you really look at if you look at like hell <laughs> god fuck North K. If you look at the map, like Glen's a big street too that like it, it separates. What what else is it? It's like what else is it? There's another one. Nigga, off once look like, once you hit once you hit aviation, nigga, you know you're going east. You're gonna hit 29. You're gonna pass 15. Once it's past Pima, that's not our section no more, nigga. Yeah. Past, past, past Pima over there, nigga, that's not our section, not nigga. Right. So we stay on 29 so all the way down the strip, nigga. You know this is strict. You still got Craycroft. You got 29th and Columbus. You, you got know about 29th, 29th and Alvernon. You got 29th and Swan. Yeah. Tell me that's where we are right now. Just a whole strip. A whole, whole strip. strip. You right, right, you right. It do, it do stop. It stopped at the church that I went to right there. Like it just, the whole nine just stopped. It cuts off. There's yeah. no more nine. No more. Go more east. What was it like coming up on the nine for you? Shit, nigga. It was rugged. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, rugged. Just, like it was like. I mean, no right. cap. Like a lot I grew of a bunch of a bunch of bull. My nigga, every day. Like obviously you hear shootings. My nigga, like. Gunshots going off one nigga, you feel me? Every night, it was nothing, night. Nothing, night. nothing changes. Every night, night it was a it was a different shooting every night. I swear to God, nigga, then towards like 2017, 2018, the block got turned up. Nigga, nigga started killing each other, nigga. Like, dead homies, nigga, like, started popping off, nigga, you feel me? I'm not gonna speak on nigga, you feel me? But like, got active on this nigga, I can tell you that. Like, it's like, for sure. and then like, Cause you don't really got no big homies from the nine either, like type like. Nah, nigga, like, like me it's really, kids raise kids we, out nigga, here. Like. We we all grew up like together, type of nigga. Like everybody that's from the nine don't even have no big homies, nigga. Like we all looked up to each other, nigga. We grew up from like kids. kids, nigga. For me, kids, nigga. And then like like he's like a whole nother generation of the nine. Like like his daddy said, like his old, his, like he used to be from the nine and shit, like. But he like. It's just, that's back in the day. I don't know what the fuck was happening in the 90s. Uh, I don't, I don't it's know. It's always no. been kind of red influence. No, but yeah, nobody yeah. ever talked about I no mean, 90s what? and nothing. I mean, you got certain parts. You got some Crip areas, too. You got certain parts and there's some Crip areas. Yeah, there's some Crip areas. I'm going to lie. But yeah, there's, there's Crips on the line. Yeah. But other than that, like, the red rags, nigga, that's how I grew up around, nigga. This whole, this whole park, I remember it used to be straight, like, all red every day, like every Sunday, there was a barbecue out here. My nigga did home. What, uh, like I asked him earlier, what separates East Side from the South and the West in terms of like culture and shit like that? Like, like I feel like we're more like different. I feel like he said there's the, more the, money on the East. There is, there is, and I feel like we're more like Cali oriented. Yeah, I can say, like, you feel me? Like, it's more like a family, my nigga. You feel me? The South, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know too much about the South, so I'm be on that section, so I can't really speak on them, you feel me? I fuck with the South, nigga, I got hella niggas from the South too, so. Yeah, I got, I got, I got niggas from the South, bro. It's like, like, they start fucking with other, like, people that we don't fuck with this shit. It's like, but they still my family, they still blood and shit, like, but I don't, like, it's just, it's two different, like, you, you got your gang, we got ours, like, simple that's, shit. That's all it is, and honestly, how we grew up, nigga, the South Side don't really, really so I think that's how it usually is, you feel me? Yeah, so I, I can't really, I, 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 I can't really my vatos. I, 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 I Okay, so the but, south and the but, east is kind of two different. I could say, you know, I could say, say the east side right now world. is quite like, we, nigga, the music that we got coming for you guys. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, 
They gon' they gonna know about the knives. Oh yeah, play here. Hook up to the speaker, bro, and play your song. And then yeah, play hey, your when I, when okay, now as I previously stated, they didn't just invite us down to Tucson to show us their hood. They were eager to also show us some music they had been working on. So I told them to play the track a couple of times. I actually liked it. I thought it was good. So I said, hey, let's make it the official soundtrack for the East Side Tucson tour, okay? And show the good people what sound is brewing over here. So we shot a couple scenes right there on the playground and then we moved on. <coughs> He's sorry, nigga. Stop no, playing with me, man. nigga. Activate it. You my nigga. We got the biggest gun. The youngest nigga out here. Yeah. Biggest gun on who? Swear to God. These are, these are your people? That is not a stick. Slide it. Hey, slide it. Slide that bitch. Slide that bitch. Hold on, hold on. Put the seat down soon. So after that encounter with Crackhead Karen, I said let's shoot a few more scenes for the soundtrack while we got everyone here in the parking lot and let's do it quick before the cops come. You guys can check that out if you want, click the card in the top right corner or click the link in the description below titled Motion Music Video by X5 aka my man Malcolm X. What's up, man? I'll fly with it. You know what I'm saying? Tell him how to eat I'll fly with the guys. Tell him how to eat Hey, gang, get in it. Hey, shit, you know, I niggas be out here cooling it, booing it, you know? Hey, this shit get real grimy on this shit. Listen, I'm from LA, you hear me? But, nigga, I'm I'm from out here, you feel me on this shit, nigga? This, the Cali niggas, the Cali niggas. It's what it is. What's up, y'all here? 
Hey baby, say baby, it is I, the biggest cactus of all mother time, aka Big Camera Lord at Core Capital K, and you have made it to the end of yet another hook tour, alright, appreciate you guys for viewing, appreciate you guys for checking it out, checking out the homies music and culture, hopefully you guys learned something about Tucson, okay, I'm gonna beat you guys to the punch, alright, I already know there's gonna be a bunch of comments, I've already got a bunch of f***ing DMs and shit about, hey, you come to this side of Tucson, come to that side of Tucson, there will inevitably be a part two, alright, I know Tucson, Tucson is a small city, but it's big at the same time. So I know there's a lot of other shit I gotta see, a lot of other people I gotta talk to. So, all right, just slide in the DM cordially, not disrespectfully with the this and the that, and the, you interviewed the wrong guys or they're clowns or da 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 or laughing face emojis like you guys do. All right, slide in cordially. A hey, siege, come on back. Let me show you this section of Tucson or that section of Tucson. All right, let's do it the right way. Okay, you know I'm always down to hop in the road. I'm hit the road, Jack. All right, Tucson's only an hour and a half away from Phoenix, so I will hop in the car and come right back down with that being said i appreciate all the east side tucson deuce nine section homies okay for taking time out of their day out of their weeks and whatnot taking time off work or whatever to link up with us at freedom park and at the apples apartments and whatnot to show us around and show you guys east side tucson what music they got coming what culture they come from and all that good shit, all right appreciate those guys shout out x5 aka malcolm x janky baby nine all right and all those guys all right appreciate y'all hit the like button drop a comment and subscribe as well all right we're dropping not only hood tours but music videos as well back to back to back vlogs all that good shit, okay just subscribe for the dope shit coming out the desert and beyond we're on the cutting edge of culture all right we're going to these places to show you guys where the culture comes from what it sounds like looks like all that good shit. so subscribe for all the latest shit. If you're in the Phoenix area and you're an artist, okay, you need some studio time, you need a place to record, or you're just visiting from out of town, you know what to do, aka slide in the DM at Valley Club Records, all right, book you a little session, and record some music here, come test the sound, come test the quality, all right, and get involved in the culture from the ground zero. As well as, if you need music video services, you know who the winning team is on that end of the spectrum as well, okay, slide in the DM at Core Capital or at Valley Club Records, we'll get you set up, all right, we got plenty of videographers, okay, shooting content all day, every day that's all we do okay this is the digital trap all right music and videos and if you are just a viewer and you enjoy the content and you enjoy the culture the scene the community and everything dope coming out the desert and beyond you know what to do hit valleyclub.bigcartel and grab you a mother piece of merch okay everything we do we only print once all right it's very limited okay a couple of hoodies left the outside trade name just cleared so we're gonna be dropping this very slowly you know what i'm saying piece by piece when you get to the site they may or may not be some of this maybe one piece maybe two if you see it grab it jump on it okay it's one of one we don't reprint all right and if you grab a piece of outside merch okay we'll probably throw in some dead stock okay maybe a hoodie maybe a t-shirt maybe some stickers maybe some lighters you never know what you're gonna get okay but just know you're gonna get plugged all right okay because that's what we do all right we're for the community we're for the culture we're valley club the motherfucking cult don't push it out the desert and beyond i'm the biggest cactus of all time aka big camera alert at core capital okay appreciate you guys for tuning in we'll catch you guys on the next video love y'all valley club the cult